Hello, hello. All right, I'm just checking to make sure that it's working. Let's see. It's the first time I've done this by myself, so this is going to be very interesting. Um, I have to check Facebook. So much technology all happening at once. Insanity, I tell you. Oh, good, it's working. Oh, awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, good. Oh, this is trippy. All right. Oh, no, go back. Amazing, amazing. Hey, guys. Welcome to the live stream. Thank you guys so much for joining me this morning on such short notice. Uh, I'm going to go to Twitter and check out some of your questions. You can always comment. I'm good. Thank you for asking. How are you? Um... For any questions you guys might have, I'd love chatting with you. My opinion on Malik is that Malik is Bay, and Malik is forever, and Malik is OTP, right? First cast member I met was Dom. Actually, we were friends long before Shadowhunters, uh, the TV show, was even happening, and so it it made it really a lot of fun to get started on a project like that because you're working with friends and you already have a level of like trust and respect there, and it's great. I'm doing lovely this morning. I am at my grandmother's house in her lovely backyard with the birds chirping, and I'm having a ball being among nature. Love from Paris! Mwah! I miss Paris already. I want to go back. Ooh, my favorite TV show. I have a lot of favorite TV shows. Um, I love Kimmy Schmidt. I love Orange is the New Black. Um, Game of Thrones, Rain, Damien, Pretty Little Liars, of course. Uh... So many shows. Stitchers. I love Stitchers. Um, <laughs> the coolest experience. Oh gosh. There's so many. Shadow Hunters, in and of itself, I think has been kind of the coolest experience I've had in a long time. Um, simply because connecting with you guys and getting to be a family with the cast and really just connecting over globally with this show has been really amazing. Most challenging thing playing Clary. There's a lot of challenging things. Um, physicality is really challenging. Uh, finding a way to bring this character to life and, and make sure her journey is done in the right way can be a challenge, but it's it's a fun challenge. You know, television is very fast paced, but we have an amazing team around us, and it it's a fun kind of challenge. Um, oh, my favorite perfume. Ah, uh, what's it called? It's one of the Juicy Couture perfumes. It's Viva La Juicy La Fleur. It's the floral one. It's very... The name is very fancy. Um, uh, my hair is kind of red. It's it's the light. It's so, so bright out here that it makes it look a different color. I have strange hair color. Um, <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. This is amazing. What do I think about Mexico? I think Mexico seems fabulous. I've never been, personally, but I think it would be fun. Who is the most lazy in the cast? Nobody's lazy in the cast. Are you kidding? We don't have time to be lazy. These, I kid you not, the cast is so dedicated. I've, I've been so inspired by all of them. We are 100% we are dedicated to this show, and it's, it's really an amazing family. I do love Teen Wolf. I, I obviously, am Arden is one of my dearest, closest friends, and, and I know a lot of the people on the show, obviously working with Dylan, and Tyler's a friend, and, and oh gosh, who else on the show? Um, there, there's so many people on the show that I, I know and adore, and it's, um, it's a great thing. And it's a really well done show. I've learned a lot from watching it. Will I be doing more Facebook Lives? I hope so. That would be nice. Let's see. What do I look forward? This is from Facebook, from Scottified Cat. What do I look forward to most about the next season? I'm really excited to dig back into the story and continue these characters' journeys and uh, see what the writers come up with. We have an amazing team of writers, and I don't really know what's coming season two, but I'm I'm excited. What I'm really excited to see is uh, there's been sort of a role reversal between um, Jace and Clary. You know, Jace is the one who's been so sure of himself this whole time and who's known exactly who he is, but now that he knows, he's learned that Valentine is his father, it's kind of changed everything for him. And Clary is now the one who's come to terms with the fact that she's Valentine's daughter and, and with this new state of things with Simon being established and everything, it's, um, 
it'll be interesting to see her take charge and help Jace figure out all of his issues. What kind of role am I hoping to get in the future? I love roles that are challenging. That's why I love playing Clary so much, because it is it is a challenge, and it pushes me and forces me to learn and grow every single day. And um, that's why I love what I do. My favorite female superhero. Ooh. Well, I just saw um, the new Captain America Civil War last night, and... Uh, Oh, gosh. I mean, Scarlett Johansson's a badass, I have to say. I, I love her as Black Widow. Oh, goodness. Holy Panda! Of course! I will always remember Holy Panda. Holy Panda is near and dear to my heart. When will Shadowhunters be back? I think it starts airing again next year, but we'll start shooting later this year. So I'm very excited. Clace or Malik? Well, Malik, obviously. Malik is always number one, but I love Clace, too. I, I, all of the ships on the show are great. Even even the friend ships, like Klalik and Clizzy and Climin and Safael. I know people love Safael. Team Iron Man or Team Cap? I can't answer that question. You have to understand, because not only are you asking someone to choose between the two, two awesome superheroes, but also... Chris Evans and, and Robert Downey Jr. There's really no choosing. I'm glad you love pandas. I love pandas as well. Let's see. I'm looking for a, for some more questions. Any more questions? When am I releasing new music? Soon. Soon, soon, soon. Um, I'm getting my EP together right now, so I'm very excited to share that with you all. My favorite thing about... This is uh, from Twitter, from Radisson, cat underscore McNamara's. What's my favorite thing about being back in Kansas City? My favorite thing is being home and seeing my grandparents and my mom and friends and family and just it's and being able to sit in nature and hear the birds chirping do you hear that i'm sorry i'm a huge nature freak i love it how old am i i'm 20 i don't speak spanish i wish i did i need to learn another language that's a goal of mine for this next year Favorite actor or actress? That's so difficult. Um, I'm a huge Bradley Cooper fan. Um, Jennifer Lawrence is amazing. Uh, the, just the entire cast of Game of Thrones. That's so well done. It's just the list goes on and on and on. The first thing I thought when I met the cast... Um, so when I first got to Toronto, I was one of the last people to arrive in Toronto. And... I get to the hotel and the cast is sitting in the lobby because they, they knew I was arriving then. The, the cast was sitting in the lobby waiting for me. So I quick ran upstairs, put my bags in the room, came back down, and we all went to dinner. And that first night was so much fun because just getting to know everybody and getting to chat and catch up. We were laughing and already a family from that moment. And so my first thought was, how lucky are we that we have such an amazing group of people and get to tell this incredible story and I'm I was just so excited I was elated thoughts about Game of Thrones so many thoughts too many thoughts to talk about here um just love who's my inspiration when it comes to singing um I always like to say my music is kind of in the world of Halsey Ellie Goulding and uh, Melanie Martinez sort of the darker side of of pop which is Favorite scene to shoot this season? Ooh. There's too many. One of my favorites, um, oh, there's so many good ones. One of my favorites was the scene uh, in episode five when all of us kind of come together. It's the big werewolf fight. Because it was the first time all of us were together with our weapons, working as a team. Um, but then I also loved all the stuff in, uh, oh, what, what episode was that? Um, I don't know. Too many scenes. Too many scenes. 
Do I speak French? No, I wish. That's another. Oh, if I could play another character in Shadowhunters, who would it be? Uh, I think it would be really fun to play Magnus Bane. Obviously, I I hope this character comes into the show next season. But I think it'd be, I think Sebastian's a really interesting character for those of you who've read the books. I think that would be great. I love Christina Aguilera. Her voice, oh, amazing. What can we expect for the second season of Shadowhunters? Well, I don't know anything official, but I've heard rumors of maybe meeting the Seelie Queen. Uh, Clary and Simon's relationship is going to develop even more. Um, what else did they tell me? Uh, things I can't share, but it's going to be really cool. I'm very excited. Let's see. Have I read all the Shadowhunters books? I've read all the Mortal Instruments books. I wanted to sort of know Clary's journey and the, the main journey that we're going to be telling throughout the series. And uh, I, I fell in love with Cassie's books, and I think they're amazing. I love the, the romantic way that she kind of spins the story and how rich and deep this world is and how each of the characters has a journey. And each of the characters develops so much throughout the books, and it's, it makes me so excited to bring that to screen. Are we going to see Maya? I hope so. I don't know. That's I, I don't know what the writers are going to cook up for season two, but whatever it is, it's going to be incredible because they're an amazing, amazing team. Uh, how will Alec and Clary's relationship evolve in season two? I don't know. I hope there's more Alec and Clary sass because I love their friendship and I love how it's sort of a tumultuous relationship full of witty banter and sass. Um, oh my gosh, City of Heavenly Fire destroyed me. City of Heavenly Fire destroyed me. I was bawling during the end of that book. But I think, I think why the books, especially the latter books, affected me more than the earlier ones is because I'd gotten to know the cast better. And by the time I was reading those books, we were done shooting the season. So I'd spent, you know, six months with these people and I, I could hear their voices and I know how they move and I know what, you know, how their expressions are and how they play these characters and how they bring them to life. And so when I'm reading the book, I'm seeing and hearing these people that I care so much about. And it's, um, it's kind of amazing that, uh, you know, it made it a very visceral experience for me. I have not read Lady Midnight. I have to catch up in that respect. I probably am going to wait to read the other series that are adjacent to the Mortal Instruments until after the show's done. Simply because right now I'm going back and rereading books two and three and all of this stuff. Um, sorry, my wrist had to stretch. My favorite book of the series. I can't choose. I can't do it. Oh, my first reaction when I found out I was going to be playing Clary, I was speechless, actually. And for those people who know me, I'm I'm not often speechless. <laughs> I didn't know what to think because it's such a huge undertaking and it's such a great character and an amazing story to bring to life. Uh, it's It was very overwhelming. Um, but I, I felt really lucky that you all were gave me such a warm welcome and we're so happy to to join this I was so happy to join this fandom the Shadowhunter Codex I love the Shadowhunter Codex you know funny thing we have a copy of the Shadowhunters Codex in the makeup trailer and that's what we use to reference when we find out that we have a new rune that we're adding to the show or things like this because they let us work with the writers and and with the um, producers and directors to to pick which runes we're bringing into the show just because it's fun for us. Uh, so it, we, we reference the Codex quite often. My favorite Halsey song, oh my gosh, uh, probably Castle. Particularly the version from Snow White and the Huntsman because it's amazing and I love the way that they changed the, um, the track. My daily makeup routine, it's different every day. I like to play with makeup. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love Lily Collins. I'm such a huge fan of Lily Collins, and uh, I, I'm a, such a huge fan of all of her work. I, I hope to meet her one day. Do we practice guiding the Stelle? We do practice the Stelle quite a lot. It's um, 
it's something, especially when we have to draw a rune on a wall or something, they'll show us what rune it's going to be because it's not always there. They paint it in afterward. So we have to practice how to draw the rune because we always have to do a few shots where there's nothing there. And it's, um, it's, very, it's always nerve-wracking because we want to do it right. Okay, guys, I've got five more minutes to spend with you guys. So any questions right now, throw them my way. If I could be a person for a day, who would I like to be? I don't know if I'd love to be that, that person. Um, actually, I'd love to be Lin-Manuel Miranda for a day because he is a genius and one of the sweetest human beings I've ever met in my life. And really, I, I look up to him so much. Um, but I just I want to know what makes him so genius. Just naturally him, I guess. What Disney character is my favorite? Growing up, my favorites were always, well, the princesses, I guess, were always Mulan and Pocahontas. Because I loved the warrior princesses. I don't know why, I guess that's, that's why I'm playing one now. Friends or How I Met Your Mother? I honestly haven't watched that much of How I Met Your Mother. Um, so I guess I have to say Friends. Oh, the hardest stunt of season one was actually one that I'm really proud of personally because it was all actors. It was me, Dom, Matt, and Isaiah. It was in episode five. It wasn't really that big of a stunt, but just the fact that they let all actors do it was kind of a big deal for all of us, and we we worked really hard to make it perfect. It's where Isaiah's carrying me in the fireman's carry and then gets kneecapped by Dom. I go flying in the air, Matt catches me, and then Dom punches Isaiah out. And it's, uh, you know, taking down Isaiah is is a feat. And I don't think we could do it for real. I th I'm glad it was choreographed because if we if we tried to take down Isaiah, it would take all of us if it would if it's even possible. I don't even think it's possible. Oh, goodness. Are you the same in Shadowhunters and in real life? Um, Clary's very similar to who I am as a person, but there are a few differences. How tall am I? I am 5'5". Five five. I am not a tall human. <laughs> Favorite Hamilton song. Ooh. They're all so good. I've I've literally been listening to the album on repeat in my car for the past like long period of time. I love Malik. I love Malik. My best friend on the set? I don't think I have a best friend. I mean if I had to choose a pair of a tie from set of the cast, it would be Emeron, because, you know, we girls got to stick together. <laughs> All right, let's see if there are any Twitter questions while I have in my last three minutes. Okay, Jay Switzerland wants to know how my journey has been How's your journey from being cast to now been? It's been amazing. And a lot of that is due to you guys and all of the love and support and the excitement you guys have had for the show. And I, I, we, we all love Secretly as a cast. We love um, stalking you guys on social media and looking at all of your predictions and your comments and your fan edits. We're as much fans of you guys as you are of us. So thank you for starting that conversation and, and being a part of our journey. Do I have any tips for staying positive? This is from H, from Halleck Carpenters, from Hannah, uh, on, on Twitter. Do I have any tips for staying positive? The, the best thing to stay positive is to make the choice to be positive. You know, there's always a silver lining. There's always a positive side to life, and you just have to find it. And when you do, it, life is just better. Now, let's see. What animal does Claria remind you of? Ooh. That's a difficult question. I think Claria reminds me of... A panda. Clary's a panda. No, she's not. But I'm just going to say that because I can't think of anything else right now. Do I ship Clay or Kleiman? I can't answer this question, folks. I can't do it.
Why is my snap always black and white? Um, my Snapchat's always black and white because I, I have so much other social media and it's a challenge for me to find things interesting and do it in black and white and share things with you guys in a different way. My workout routine to prepare for Clary, it's, there's a lot of, of working out that goes into it, but we're lucky that we have amazing trainers and stunt coordinators and people that help us out and kick our butts. <laughs> <laughs> so many questions. You guys are amazing. What's my favorite? This is from Madison Hugs on Twitter. What's my favorite animal? A panda? Potentially. I tend to like the black and white animals. I don't know why. I love I love penguins. I love pandas. I love zebras. My favorite animal as a kid going to the zoo was a bongo. So Google that one. <laughs> While I'm okay, time is up for today, but I do want to say thank you guys so much for all of the love and support and um, seeing the all of your hashtag one years Clary tweets has been really amazing and adore you so much, so much love. Enjoy your day. Bye, angels. <laughs>